Okay, so you probably noticed I have a microphone now. So things are getting quite serious, we could say. We're going to be doing some European bowling knots. The first being the Spanish bowling. It's probably the most attractive one because of its symmetry. Okay, it gets me very excited because everything is symmetrical, very neat. That's the first one. We're going to go over uses and tying methods, but that's a brief introduction. The second would be probably the one I use most, the old Portuguese bowling. I'm tying this in a snap method because I'm a geek. There we go. The old snap Portuguese. All these knots have two loops that can be used as rescue harnesses. You can lift people, lower people. They can be used as shoulder straps. If you wanted to drag, say, an unconscious body, you could, you know, you could drag someone. It's a bit tight, a bit tight on the old pectorals. Um, all of these knots, you can adjust the loop, so you can have a, a little micro loop on this side, or a little micro loop on that side, depending on what you want to use it for. Also, these are used to suspend ladders horizontally, which we'll do. We'll find some ladders because there's plenty of junk in the yard to tie up. It's always a good thing. Now, the third one, probably my least favourite, the French bowling. Nothing to do with the French. It's just its appearance that I find unappealing. It looks quite similar to the Portuguese, but you have this sort of oval shape here in the middle. And I fear if you use this as a harness, the old genitals are going to get pinched in there, aren't they? So that's just asking for trouble. Um, we'll go over some tying methods now. I think we'll change, change the setup and do that. Okay, guys, we have the Spanish bowline that we can tie midline. We're going to be taking the rope like this and now the width between your hands is dependent on how big you want the loops to be so if you want to tie a small one do this much if you want to do a big one have a dangly bit of rope in between your hands now this right hand is going to twist the rope you want to put a little slight twist in it and then put the hands together this right hand coming in the front so you've Put a nice twist in the rope you've got a sort of oval shape in the middle and you've got these two dangly bits of rope that we're going to move into the middle like that so you've got a cross going on up here so now you want to reach around with your thumbs and fingers grab these two bits and then roll them both forward like that We've got a ovary shape going on here, and we've got the ovary in each hand. And you see these bits in in the center of the ovaries. We want to re reach through, pinch them, and then pull them up. And that's the ovary tying method of the Spanish bowline. So you can see what I mean about it being quite a decorative knot. It's very visually appealing. To me. We've got a bit of a cross going on here. This is all very nice. And then you can adjust the size of each loop. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but um, you can. So that is the old Spanish. Now I could, I perhaps I'll tie this a bit bigger and stand into it, and then we can figure out how to use it as a rescue harness. So I will do that, get a bigger loop, turn in the middle, pull these two ovaries up, and then we have quite a nice knot that we can step into, get the old Birkenstocks through there. So yeah, this can go 
on your waist and then what you could do with this short tail that can go around the back around your waist and then here you could um, you've got a lot of options here I think you could probably just do a, a bit of a clove hitch on here and that could sort of keep you suspended in here so each leg is suspended let's move that down each leg is suspended you've got something around your waist Perhaps you could finish it off with some type of um, bowline. Get it nice and tight. That's also one way of securing it. The, uh, the Portuguese, I'll do, when I do that one, I'll show you how you could use it as a, with a friction hitch as well. So yeah, that's very exciting. Now I'll find a, a ladder and we can we can tie tie it up onto the ladder so when you're tying around a ladder you want to take a couple of handfuls of rope and you want to start on the inside and bring it around the out like that then with this left hand we want to roll it forward and create a hole then the tail is going to come up and pull the whole lot through like that then we're going to go outside in on this side of the ladder then we take the tail and we're going to go through this opening put it all the way through and now this side of the knot is pretty much done so we can tighten that up all we do now is come up through this opening with the tail, round the back and up and then we want to dive down where my finger is and there you have a nice symmetrical knot. Now you probably want to um, do something with the tail, I just do some sort of a bowline not in the tail there, just to secure it. So how I did that was um, I got this left hand bit of rope, made an opening, pushed the bite through, then the tail was just going through there, up and through, and we're just shutting the, putting that all tight. And you have a nice Spanish bowling. And if you wanted to be a real psycho, you could put a stopper knot in there as well. Okay, that's real psychotic stuff. But that's how to attach a ladder. Now you don't want to use this for climbing. I see um, a lot of, I think it's mountain climbing or lead climbing where they clip into two anchors there. You don't want to be using this knot because say that this anchor broke the knot isn't redundant so this this whole section would fall through and the whole knot would undo so you don't want to be using it for climbing um, but you know it's a nice historic knot and it does have uses we'll do the old portuguese now i think so yes portuguese we're going to start fairly long tail and then our left hand we're going to roll over make an opening then this tail, we're going to roll it back up and lay it above. So this is the shape that you want. Now, there's two options here. You can do the basic bitch one, where you get the tail, come up, around the tree, and back down. That's the old Portuguese or you could do the snap method which I like to do because it's more attention seeking you do an opening you lay the rope on top and you're going to get this bit of rope push it through push a bite through then you insert your tail through the bite and then you just pull it all back into position like that that's the old Portuguese so 
yeah, I'll do it a bit. I'll do it a bit bigger and show you how to tie a friction hitch with it as well, because that's quite fun. So we've gone over our anchor point up there, and we're going to do the old Portuguese bowline, um, slightly bigger than normal, because we want to be using enough tail to go around the waist and through the legs around the waist and then have enough to tie a friction hitch at the end. So I'm going to put one leg through that bad boy, one leg through there, that's quite tight actually on the old genitals, okay, I'm going to let you know that. Then this can go around the waist. I like to tie just a bit of a, a clove hitch on here, on this side. Clove hitch on there. And then what we can do is with the, the long bit of rope that's over our anchor point, we can now tie a bit of a friction hitch onto there. And what I'm doing is putting a rope over my thumb I'm just going to tie quite a small Blake's hitch. So we're wrapping two wraps at the bottom, two wraps above the thumb, bringing the rope in front, underneath, and then back up where the thumb was. Now, this is not going to be long enough to be able to tie a, a stopper knot in the end. But um, if you were being a safety sally, you put a stop or not in the tail but anyway we can slide this up sit back into it and we can we can descend down a cliff or whatever we want to do by doing that or we can go back up by tending the slack and advancing it so that's another option that I use the Portuguese bowling for this time we want to take the rope, we want to go inside, out, like that. Then we want to go outside in, like this. Then this bit of the rope, we're going to make a turn. Um, this Underneath this bit of rope, we're going to push a bite through and the tail is going to go through there and then you can pull the whole thing nice and tight and it snaps into a Portuguese shape like that. We could then roll the tail round and stick it back up here making a sort of Yosemite finish on that, making it more secure. So again, this is not a redundant knot, so say that this broke, the whole thing is just gonna slide through. So don't, don't use it for climbing, but it can be used. I use this to tow, um, say my, my truck got stuck the other day and I've got two attachment points on the front, front of the truck. You know, you can use this knot and you can adjust it depending on where you want to pull it. Now we'll move on to the old French one because they need to be, they need a little video, don't they? Okay, so the French one, we're going to have a big tail again. And this is probably my least favourite, but we're going to do it anyway. We're rolling the rope over into our hand. And then we're going to take a second wrap on top. Like so. And then we take the tail, we go through, up, around, back down. And that is the French bowline. This top bit can be adjusted like so. So yeah, pretty pretty boring, pretty French. Um, apologies. So the French one, we're going to make a turn first, we're going to go round inside to out, then outside to in on this side, 
and then you just come up through there round the back and you dive back down and again this is my least favorite because it's a bit of a mess here and that's where the old genitals are going to get stuck so I, I, I wouldn't recommend using this one so a very similar one is actually called an axle hitch what you can do is just go around the ladder and pull a bite through like this and then at this stage you want to just take the rope over the top around the back do one turn and then a second one working left so at this point you can just adjust where you want it to be get it vaguely symmetrical and then here you make a turn you push a bite through the tail goes through and you snap it down into the old bowline shape and this is called an axle hitch so it's a very very similar sort of double looped um, knot with a bowline variation going on riveting